Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kiki and today's video is going to be the fantasy romance reader tag. This challenge was created by the amazing Hannah Blackwell. If you are not following her page yet, I suggest you do. I will tag her page down in the description below. And I was tagged by Books by Emily, another amazing booktuber that I love. I also follow Emily over on Bookstagram. She's one of my OG book friends actually in the online book world. I will also tag her page below so go check out out their pages, give them a subscribe and watch their videos. So I have all of the questions written down here. I've figured out my answers. I'm really excited to do this because I've not actually done a reader tag challenge on booktube yet and I love doing these over on bookstagram. So this is a little exciting for me. I have a pile of books here to go with my answers. There's a couple that I will tag their photos with because I've read them on Kindle Unlimited or something like that. So let's just get stuck into it. The first question on the fantasy romance reader tag is what book got you into fantasy romance for the first time? I'm 32 friends and I've been reading uh, fantasy since I was 16. So it's been a long time and the first fantasy book that I read. I am a part of that generation. I am a part of the Twihard fandom, Twilight. I mean, this is the OG movie cover book. This is so tatted, this book. I've reread this so many times. My mum purchased this book for me when the movie was released because I wanted the movie cover as well. This is the book that started everything for me. I really got into fantasy after reading this one. Now, of course, once you read Twilight back then, you then went into reading The Hunger Games and Harry Potter. All those cool, fun, old school fantasy books. So this definitely kickstarted my fantasy reading for me. Question number two. If you could pick one fantasy world to move to for the rest of your life, which world would you move to? I think this is a really obvious answer for a lot of us fantasy readers. Take me to Valaris any day. I would love to live in Valaris. <laughs> I honestly, the setting and everything just... It gives you a sense of home. That's all I can say. Question number three. If you could marry one bookish hero or heroine, who would it be? <clears throat> Daddy Nikdos. I love the prequels to the From Blood and Ash series. A Shadow in the Ember. Sarah. I know that's not how you pronounce it. There is a different way to pronounce that, but she will forever be Sarah in my head. And Nikto's, I love him so much. Like he's, for fantasy, he's like right up the top there. I would marry him any day. Question number four. If you could be one fantasy creature slash magical being, what would you be? So I have a mad thing for dragons and wyverns and um, I would 100% be a Braxis. Manon's Abraxas. That's who I would be. I love Abraxas in this series. As soon as I read that question, my brain just completely jumped to Abraxas. So that's who I would be. Question number five. If you could kill one fantasy romance character, who would you off? Well, this is a real tricky one for me. Um, I feel like your fantasy characters that you would want to kill off are quite needed for the story. Like, we hate them for a reason. We need them there to hate them. So I actually don't know who I would off. My first character that comes to mind would be Tamlin from the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. He's very toxic. I don't like him at all. I didn't like him in the first book when we were supposed to like him. So... Yeah, I would probably say Tamlin. He's the only character that really comes to my mind that I would want to off. I feel like all the other characters that you should off are there for a reason to make the story what it is. Question number six. What fantasy romance character do you truly believe would be your in real life best friend? I would 100% hands down be best friends with Bryce Quinlan. No questions asked. She's the first female main character, best friend that I would come to. I connected with Bryce so much in this book. I love everything about her. And the fact that she has red hair and I had red hair for seven years. Like I've only just recently gone back brunette. But when I read this book, I had red hair. I'm curvy. I'm not skinny. 
I like to stand up for myself. I like to, you know, be independent. And there was just something about Bryce that I really connected with. So I would 100% be best friends with her. Question number seven. What would be your fantasy weapon of choice? A dagger. That's, that's it, a dagger. <laughs> I, can't, I did not even think about that. Straight to a dagger. They are sexy as hell. I love it when a character straps into their thigh. They're light, they're deadly. Question number eight. Who is the sexiest fantasy romance character of all time? Don't make me pick. I really don't want to pick. I don't know. I don't think I could come to just one character. I absolutely love Nyctos because I would marry him, so I, maybe him. You can't go wrong with Reeson, but then you've got Cassian, but then you've got Az, and I feel like Az is really going to shock the hell out of us when we finally get his book, whenever that's going to be. No, I'm sorry, do you know who I would actually pick? Hades. Hands down, Hades. I like any and every retelling on Hades. Hades from A Touch of Darkness by Scarlet St. Clair. That's who I would pick. He would be the sexiest fantasy romance character, I'd have to say. Question number nine. Pick one fantasy romance book to burn. The Serpent and the Wings of Night. I would burn that book. I didn't care for it at all. I didn't like the hype for it. It was a slow burn. I didn't feel the connection with it at all. So yeah, I would burn that book. <laughs> Question number 10. You can choose one fantasy romance book. It's the only book you will ever be able to read again. What is it? This is a hard one, but I'm going to have to go with the Queen, Sarah J Maas, and I'm going to have to say Crescent City. I love that book. I've read it twice already, and I could probably read that over and over and over again for the rest of my life. Question number 11, and it's the last question on this tag. If you could recommend one fantasy romance book to a reader that was new to the genre and wanted to try it out, what book would it be? Hands down, A Court of Thorns and Roses by our queen, Sarah J Maz. I know I've mentioned this one quite a few times with these answers, or at least this series as a whole, but this honestly is the book that I recommend for all first time fantasy readers really opens your mind up to the genre. The world building is very easy to understand and very easy to read. Some fantasy books, the info dumping and the world building can be quite hard to wrap your head around. It can make you feel like it's very slow. So 100%, A Court of Thorns and Roses is the go-to book to read for a first time fantasy reader. So that is the fantasy romance reader book tag, friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again to Emily for tagging me in this challenge. Don't forget to hit like, friends. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment below if you agree with any of these answers or would like to add in your own answers. I'll see you all in the next video.